Hello YouTube, what's up? This is Deepak, the Two Wheels Wanderer and welcome back to my channel. Yes, the hullabaloo of the wedding is over. I am finally a married man now. I went to Bali for my honeymoon and we were there for around seven days and Bali is beautiful. I will not be posting detailed vlog but I will definitely post a kind of a montage, musical montage of uh, the entire wedding and, and the Bali visit and yes i was able i was finally able to use or feature my motorcycle in my wedding both on my wedding day and also in my reception so that turned out to be a big hit and yes i will include those shots uh, in that montage that i'll be uploading soon for today's vlog i have a sad news so while we both enjoyed a lot in Bali, there were a few things, ups and downs, which which you know which are bound to happen when you travel in a foreign land and you're not you don't do detailed research. I don't like to get into too much of details about researching in a country, what to do, how to do, what to do, what to wear, when to go, you know, all these things because then you lose out on that adventure part of a trip. So uh, on the sixth day of our trip, the second last day of our trip. I unfortunately lost my GoPro Hero 5 there in Bali. It fell off somewhere and then I spent about 2 hours to find GoPro but we couldn't. And yes it was a shock at first. I took some time to get over the loss but it did give me a chance to buy another extra camera for myself. So we sat down we decided there were two three options that we could have done we could I, either i could have gone for hero 5 uh, which has the price of which has gone down drastically in the market so it is available by for around 22000 rupees something or i could have gone for the hero 6 which is costing about 27000 and it is also a very good action camera or we could have gone for the latest the hero 7 with the hyper smooth stabilization so the camera that we bought is the GoPro Hero 7 with the hyper smooth stabilization. I have it here with me and today we are going to unbox the GoPro Hero 7. Before I unbox this camera I have I have few concerns of my own with this camera. First thing I'm going to use it for motor vlog right for motor vlogging. So first concern is does the mic audio adapter which I used with the Hero 5 work with the hero 7 2 that is the first concern second i will definitely need to uh, upgrade the firmware and then i need to check out the latest features i need to check out the hyper smooth uh, stabilization you know, the kind of insane reaction that is this hyper smooth technology has got from the crowd you know it is uh, it, it is said that it is almost gimbal gimbal like stabilization so first let's open up and see how different it is in terms of packaging and look and feel than the hero 5 so here's the box with me uh, it, uh, by the first look it doesn't feel any different than the hero 5 or 6 the difference is here where it, they have given it a special badge saying gimbal like hyper smooth stabilization we will check that out uh, then we have the difference another difference is here where we have the features listed so we have the hyper smooth and live streaming uh, features in the town i do get a one year extended warranty then register if i have to register my gopro at ecreativeindia.gopro i will first need to take out this uh, the polythene cover so here goes the polythene out all right you have to open this strip up it opens up like this so this is something new that the Euro 7 has done with the packing. I don't know, I'll have to tear it up. Let's see. Let's tear it up. Yeah, all right. So this is the camera here with me. Pretty much similar. Let's just take this out right now. Pull this thing in. So this is the camera which has come out right now. Quite similar to Hero 5. You know, it comes out like this. So not much of a difference in this uh, shape and size. So this is the box which comes out like this. It opens up like this. So first we have this damage replacement. 
uh, to subscribe with the GoPro. We have got these GoPro stickers, which are nice. I'm gonna use them at my helmet on and on my bike too. Then we have the user guide, important instructions and safety instructions book. And then when you open it up, you get all right. We get up the battery here. This is not the extra battery, by the way. This is the battery which goes which goes inside the only battery that they gave. Then as usual, we have a curved mount right here. We have a straight mount and of course we have the data cable so this is all that you get with the GoPro so let's just let me just set up my GoPro for the first time and then I will get back to you guys later hello mic check this is the first recording with the GoPro Hero 7 Black testing the mic audio adapter whether t uh, working with the hero 7 or not all right guys so that was uh, the GoPro hero 7 with the mic audio adapter and a lavalier mic I'm using the uh, inbuilt mics of uh, GoPro hero 7 as of now and I've heard that the uh, GoPro has improved the mic quality the audio from the mic uh, internal mic a lot in hero 7 I don't know I'll leave this up to you and uh, hero 7 is all set for the ride the ride that I'm talking about is the second leg of the wedding ride the ride back to my workplace Jodhpur and for that I've done few more arrangements I also ordered uh, a Bluetooth intercom uh, system for both of us uh, rider to pillion uh, Bluetooth intercom BTS3 now it is uh, a made in China intercom system and it took me some time you know two three hours to set it up on my on both the helmets on mine and my and Vandana's and I, we also tested uh, the intercom it is working fine the audio is good enough I would not say it is great but it is good enough so both of these uh, you know uh, cost us around 8400 rupees from Amazon this is the uh, this is mine MT uh, helmet thunder 3 so the intercom system is on this side so this is the BTS 3 uh, right here on this side and this is how the uh, cable is going inside and the other thing that I have to attach here is the mic audio adapter for which I've left the 3.5 mm jack over here so my helmet is going to be quite loaded now you know the Bluetooth to come here and the mic is my audio adapter is going to come here so load it for touring this is the steel bird all I know the full full face version of this helmet was you know it became quite famous so this is uh, the steel bird air SBA 3 and uh, the interesting thing about this helmet is that when you put the visor down you can't make out whether it's a full face or a half face it looks almost same similar as the full face because the visor it is the visor is full face and this is how the intercom is set up on this one on the same side and with the wiring going inside from here inside the padding so you just have to take the padding off from here and the another another wire i've put it inside here you know behind this padding and then uh, put the earpiece inside from here and this is the mic as you can see coming out from here so uh, this is the helmet this is the helmet she is going to wear for the for our ride so this is going to be her half face helmet for the full face uh, protection we're going to use that empty helmet which i already have there in jaisalmer with me so a lot of a lot of other stuff is also going on uh, a lot of things that i need to do i need to check and recheck because this is the first ride that i'm going to do with a pillion for uh, this long so I've purposely kept my ride a bit deliberate. Uh, I purposely kept three days from here to Jodhpur. I've done some extra weldings and modifications on my luggage carrier too. So the luggage is sturdy. Also, don't forget, I will be uploading a vlog which will cover some shots of my marriage and time we spent in Bali. That will come somewhere in, in between the vlogs. But yes, in my next vlog, I will be starting for the second leg of the wedding ride. My ride back to Jodhpur with Vandana as my pillion my first ride as a married man so i will see you then till then this is deepak the two wheels wanderer signing off ride safe